video is going to be about the changes we've made to the railhouse, in particular the track configuration. Um, we've added an extra step to selecting your destination um, at the uh, you know expense of the convenience of making it a one-step thing. It's now two steps, but the benefit is uh, to the porters so that they can now ship up to five cargo trains in the railhouse without having to um, unload them. So going forward, selecting whether you're taking forward or back on the track selector, that still applies, that's still a necessary step, and that's the first step when you're picking your destination. Uh, whether it be track one, two, or three, you'll still need to select whether it's forward or back. And now all tracks are um, accessed by one single passenger launcher. So instead of having three different cart launchers, um, whatever track it is you're going on, you'll do it from here. And in order to access that track, you have to pick which track you're going on first by pressing this button. So to go on track three, you press track three. To go on track one, you press track one. And to go on track two, you press track two. So you need to do that before each time you before each time you launch, you'll need to, to do that. Press the button. So you want to make sure the lever is set properly, and then select the button, and then put your cart down and launch from here like that. The as far as the porters are concerned, um, what happens now is when a cargo train comes in, which regardless of uh, which direction it's coming from, whether it's track one, two, or three, it'll it'll come through this system here, and it will turn onto this track. And as long as there's a uh, an empty track, or th as long as this track is empty, then the, the train will turn down this track here. As soon as that there's a cart on this track. It will then bypass and the next cargo train to come into the railhouse will park here and so on. So a third train would turn, you can see by the signals, a third train would turn down this third track here. So that's a huge benefit to the porters, especially when there's only one porter on and uh, they need to do shipments to town by themselves. They don't need a partner here to unload the trains while they're shipping them in. They can at least get five trains into town before they have to come back to town and break down the trains. Um, the other noticeable difference here is the exits and entrances to the railhouse have been um, removed. So part of that is to make this this area rather than a high traffic foot area, it's, it's going to be more geared towards uh, rail and um, that will discourage people from standing on tracks or walking on tracks, things of that nature. So the way you get into the railhouse now is going to be through the main streets, and we're going to be using these streets, these corridors, uh, a lot more now, um, be, being only able to access the railhouse through this street here. So the trio bunker has been, the entrance has been removed here, and the new entrance is here through this apartment, which has been converted to um, a stairwell and a slight adjustment to the trio bunker here. The incinerator is still accessible this way, but this is now how you get in and out of the trio bunker and to get in and out of the tracks selection system at the railhouse, you have to come in through this this corridor here. So it's quite frankly, it's a, a little bit more of an inconvenience. For, for most of us, but the benefit uh, to the porters far outweighs that extra step that the rest of us have to take. So um, it'll help shipping, uh, importing and exporting uh, go a lot smoother and faster. So in porters, when they want to ship, this, this, this is basically for the porters' knowledge, when they want to ship to a mine, uh, they can't do it from these cargo lines. These are basically uh, for importing. And here's the export line. So a, a porter would normally build a train to ship something to a mine, and they still use the lever and button system to do that for the cargo train. So 
that's set up like that. And the cargo train will, will you know, come to here or whatever if it's a five car train. And it'll go to the appropriate destination if the levers are set properly and the right button is pressed. And the other thing that uh, is a consequence of this new system, uh, for the, as far as the porters are concerned, the, the thing where if it's a five cart train coming into the railhouse, it used to bypass the railhouse and go out, uh, out of the railhouse on track three and head towards the Mason's Lodge that no longer works. So um, it doesn't matter whether it's a, a one chest, two chest, or three chest cart train, from now on they're all gonna, they're all gonna stop here at the railhouse and if, uh, if something needs to be shipped to the, the Masons, it'll have to be um, broken down and exported from here. So there's a, that's you know, a small price to pay for the amount of importing that can be done. So that is the, uh, the news as far as how we've reconfigured the, the railhouse. So uh, some, some pros to it and a couple little cons, but uh, we, we expect to see a market difference in that. Thanks for watching.